Hallelujah. It rained. Thank goodness. I thought I was going to come out in water. So yesterday I got all this bed weeded out and all them babies in the back in water. I got this one all cleaned out except for the leaves. Ain't no sense until it's done dropping them because it's still dropping fuzzies and leaves. So I need to get all the leaves out of there before I can. Well, the babies have got a root. So I'm bringing out all my scraps from my fruit while there's a break in the rain. Ducks. Bigfoot. Come here. There's ducks. Come on. Come on. They're in my garden over here. Come on, Bigfoot. Come on. Come on. There's ducks over here. Get out of my garden. Get out of here. Get. Get out of my garden. Go. Get out of here. Go. See, I don't want to throw this down now, these little boogers. Come here, Bigfoot. Come here. He's not used to chasing them over here. Well, I normally throw them out here. I throw my scraps right where they're at. Because that's where the crows and the birds and squirrels and all get them. I can't throw them out there now. Of course, I don't think they eat fruits. Go on. No, get. Get. Don't you raise your combs at me. I will drop this bowl and pick up a stick. Go on. Get. I ain't playing with you. Go. They're going to come running back over here a minute I throw this stuff down. But I'm, I'm going to put it on the edge of the bed. But I want my crows to get them. And they like to see them. They like to be close to the street. I know you think the crows would be up in the yard. But no, they like to be out by the road. A lot of times I put dog food out there on the sidewalk. They eat it. Well, they bulk up on protein this time of year. So, you can't tell it, but I did get in here and do some weeding in here. Did some fertilizing. Um, I don't have enough black cow to side dress everything. But, um, I got elephant ears coming up. My coleus are coming up. So, the bird baths are full of the fuzzies from the trees. But they don't care. Look at you over there just sniffing around while them ducks are over here tearing up my yard. Yeah. Go on. Quit staring at the damn truck. Go on. Go back up the porch. You're not helping me at all. Go on. This oxoria, this thing has come back year after year. I keep cutting it. It keeps coming back, so I reckon I give up. Get your nose up out of there before you get bit by something. Go on. See, they've been up here. <clears throat> I just put this rooting in dirt. And what have they done? See how they've dug in here? And they've absolutely exposed my roots. That's the ducks getting inside these pots. I can't use that dirt because it's full of charcoal. That was for... I don't have no dirt handy. Not without going to get a shovel. Well... Let me see how my bird feeders are doing. Oh, they're pretty spent looking, huh? I know that's going to bring the ducks. Oh, I'll fill it back up. I don't think I'll fill it till getting closer to the evening. That's when the turtle doves will come back and they just plant themselves in that tray. They kind of like own this one. They're like... This is ours. Let's make sure it's not stuck from the rain. Look at him. He's over there where the ducks like to get. But he didn't help me at all. <laughs> if he would go over there and run them off and pee over there like he does over here, it would keep them away. <laughs> They've moved over here. Well, I was going to move these to the back fence, but I think I might leave them in this pot. Because I have two big jasmines to put on that back fence. This little bitty palm tree is going to bloom again. This started out as a little bitty thing on my desk at my office. And the bigger the pot I give it, the bigger it gets. It's about to get a really big upgrade and go on a pot on the pool deck. Well, come on, Bigfoot. Oh, no, I didn't set that thing all kind of crooked. <laughs> I was a little bit heavy-handed, wasn't I? There we go. Come on, Bigfoot. Well, at least my... Rooting trays will be full of water. I'm so glad I didn't have to water. I gotta get these leaves are off this eucalyptus. 
They're toxic. Absolutely toxic. Only thing wants to grow is weeds and these and the Bermuda grass. The soil's good under here, but I need to mend it. But I gotta get all these leaves out. But I ain't gonna do it till they're done, because it's still dropping fuzzies and leaves and little limbs. You wouldn't believe how many little limbs I picked up out here yesterday. And there's a whole bunch more. Oh, you can see where they've landed in my shrubs. Yeah. I can't reach up yonder to get them, but see all these little sticks? They're just everywhere. The ground's littered with them. I'm gonna get hit in the head with one of them. Yep, there's some bigger ones here. But this wood ain't no good for nothing. You can't burn it, you can't mulch it, you can't do nothing with it. Nothing nests in there. The seeds aren't edible. I mean, they put these trees in this neighborhood because they was cheap. All right, come on, I'm leaving you. He's way over there in the neighbor's yard. Come on, I'm leaving you. I got these watered and thinned out. All right, those are pretty begonia. Look, they get a little bloom coming in. It's your first little bloom. Oh, I see another one peeking out here. Come on now. I'm leaving you. Bye. Man, look at the leaves everywhere. A damn plunger laying out here. <laughs> from when we had the sink issues. Right. Something's been digging around out here. Hey, my cactus is blooming. And no, it's not a century plant. Because you can see it's getting a pink flush. It's going to bloom. My, um, I put a whole bunch of basil seeds in here. These are um, cone flowers. And it's coming back. I just chopped these to the ground. They'll either just rot and provide compost or this could spring back up with more basil. That's a big old basil bush. No, I ain't opening that door for you to get through. You can walk around. I'm barefooted. Well, yeah, this has got plenty of water. So that's all of those iris babies and um, um, little <laughs> spider plant babies. Got a damn tree growing in this. Look how orange this cactus is. I've split this thing so many times. I've split it. And that's where these two came from. This one, that one, that one was all one. This came back from the freeze. I think I'm gonna have to take out every other sun patient because my poor um, gardenia that's in the middle of this pot, because I just put these around the edges and these got giant and they come back from the freeze. This one you can see where I didn't forget to pinch them. Those are the ones that ain't come back, so I see them now. I'll come back and pinch them. I'm sorry. I missed a few. I think I got most of y'all. But yeah, these are sun patients. These like the sun. I think I'll take the every other one out and put them out in that side garden because they're that... My sun has changed, so it's real sunny there around that palmetto. My knee won't cooperate. I need to get my weed eater out and get my bleeding hearts under control. Get these up. Build that soil up a little bit. I saw me throw me some melons over there and put my, uh, yeah, that stuff. It's a trellis, but it's fabric, so it's not heavy. And just throw some melons over there. They can run all, all along here, it's fine. See, I ain't got no room. That used to be a big vegetable bed, this whole, big square back there and I had a vegetable bed in what looks so horrible on the other side of the house now just there is fine pieces of aluminum and uh, concrete all over that side yard the only thing that was spared sort of kind of was my corner bed and it's a mess it's a mess all this brickwork's got to be redone I don't know any idea what this is this chef there needs cut again. It's just too much. All these bricks and all was moved over here. Because all these were in use back when... This was all like trumpet plants. And there was a jasmine here. 
another jasmine there. What the hell was it? I forget. And then I had a Bogan Villa, tangerine tree, firebrush tree. My jasmine is okay over here. Um, blackberries are gone. Everything came off the fence to replace the fence. Then everything came this way and this way. This flower bed used to come out probably six inches from that. So all those gingers and iris and stuff I had to move. Some of that bed, some in the front. So I put these cone flowers in here. <clears throat> you know, they just bloom, a couple of them. This is my bed where I just chopped that basil and just threw it down. I'll run over it with a mower. It'll just be mulch. Okay, well, I need to do a video. So I'm thinking maybe that might be the thing to do. Maybe do Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's, I have to get out here. It's like now, the only reason I ain't out there cutting is I'd get soft and wet because the limbs are just soaked in water. Plus, it makes them real pliable. And my saws all will get all, you know, the wood will get real pulpy on me because it's so wet. But it would be a good time to weed because the ground is wet and soft. But my knee blew up yesterday again. And it's all bumpy and red from being out here yesterday. <laughs> but I got another box of stuff to get through. I don't even know what it is. I quit bidding on them auctions because... That last one, yeah, there were some cool, interesting pieces in there, but that was the dirtiest shit I've ever seen. And I don't think I'm gonna make $600 back on that Sterling lot. Yeah, I paid $600 for that. So I don't know that I will make that back. I'm checking to see if the little sons of guns came back over here. I can't have them in here because it's getting close to time to put my seeds down and starts. And you see how they take the bills and they rough up the dirt all around them looking for bugs and they'll they'll dig them slap up out of the ground i don't see them well that's good yeah everything's got a little water so it's decided to bloom all these irises have, are blooming and the, some of the mexican petunias okay well i don't see them i don't see them I'm going to split this. That's a rubber tree. It's type of ficus. I'm going to take that part and put it in a pot. The cone flowers are so odd. <laughs> Those are in one stage of going to seed. Those are done going to seed. And these are blooming. <laughs> There's like, oh, you can't grow those in Tampa. Well, I did. Uh, granted, they didn't bloom till fall. And now these are blooming. They bloomed at the end of winter. So winters, I don't know. <laughs> I'm leaving these weeds because I have leaves most everywhere here, but here it gets sparse. And I'd rather have weeds than have bare ground. Earth is modest. You don't like to be uncovered. And I love this. I'm always happy to see clover. Brown cover. I'll take it. I wait too long on this pokeweed, though it's going to be where I can't pull it out of the ground. It'll get so deeply rooted. Oh, see, it's already doing it. But the ground is wet, so I said, add to my pile. Got some wildflowers coming up. Well, hell, I'm already down here. Let me get the rest of y'all. I'm going to shake that out. Leave my soil behind. I ain't worried about them vines. Look at that. That's a butterfly weed. I'll leave it. It's fine. Look at this big old damn clump of crabgrass. You know damn well that ain't. I want to pull up easy. Oh. Okay, well. There's <laughs> spider plants on the ground. Wow. These are getting really tough roots. Because they've been broken off so many times. But that's fine. Chop off the tops. Leave the roots in the ground. And <clears throat> it... Just you keep it from blooming and leave the roots. And it just provides us another firebrush tree. And they they pull up. They do pull up chemicals and nutrients that your regular plants don't pull up. So having a few weeds in your garden is not a bad thing. But still, like this is yeah, why, Michael? What's today? 
Today is Thursday. He didn't put the garbage cans out. I'm gonna put it out there. Oh! <laughs> I felt that vine and thought something was climbing on me. I'm gonna get that garbage can, stick that damn thing in it, see if they'll pick it up. If he was home, he'd be fussing at me. Don't put that out there. They're not gonna take that. All these limbs fell. It got really windy yesterday. <laughs> so it <laughs> pruned the palm trees for me. Again, he would say, you're not allowed to put that in the garbage can. He don't know. I have motioned that garbage man before and waved my arms at him, and he's let me put shit in there. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this. Can I pause this thing? <laughs> well, they're coming back. Because my dog ain't used to coming over. I treated all these ants, thank God. Hey, 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 hey. Nancy. Get out here. Is that you, Daisy? Get out, get. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get out of my yard. I don't want to get ran over by a truck, but I don't want them in my yard either. Y'all, they tear up everything so bad. Gone. These sticks don't weigh nothing. It ain't going to hurt them, I promise you. I was going to snap these in my hands. They're rotten. Just enough to... See, they ain't scared to me. They're like, come on, lady. All right, you can go now. Get. Get. I'm going to go get my dog on a leash. I'm dead serious. It's the only thing that's going to keep them off. The dog keeps them away. And now they've took up over here since the dog always runs them off in the front. <sighs> no, I'm not hateful. I used to put out tubs of water and... One day I walk out here and there's like 17, 18 ducks. They tore up my flower beds. Every potted plant was just tore to shit. So I quit feeding them. I quit watering them. And now I let the dog come out and chase them. But he's going to be lazy. Let me go put him on a leash and walk his butt over there. Fine. I changed my other mind. Need to open this. This is my friend at Ford. Yeah, I told you I had to trade nothing but pearls in that. These old, old jury boxes. Where's the lid? Oh, it's holding up all this J. Crew. Anybody want a bunch of J. Crew? Oh, yeah, that's why it's laying there. What's this? Rings. These have already been shown. All right. I think that's a charm bracelet. So I do got some stuff I can show. Let me get her friend at Ford Box together. Open this, see what the hell it is. My tool's back over here. Yeah, she can have that too. Don't know who this is from. Oh. What is this? Yeah, I showed that. That's that um Star David thing. Here's my vintage sets, my dimmies. I bought these for me. Alright, I'm on the fence about these because they're artisan. I haven't ran across the right color to wear these with, but it'll happen. Alright, well, let me get cleaned up. I reckon I'll shoot a quick video. My laptop was down yesterday. My phone was down. I didn't even do my dishes last night, but it was another one of those where he drug in almost 8 o'clock in the evening. So, I know we look like a bunch of alkies, but I use this for cooking. It's a, it's a American honey. I took about a good um, bourbon chicken or bourbon pork. Well, he don't do pork, but the chicken. Because it's got so much honey in it. And you got to shake it whenever you put it, pour it. He got that for Christmas. Because somebody saw that he was buying They didn't realize he was buying it for me to cook with. <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah. That is so good. It's wild turkey. That is the best stuff for making your um, bourbon chicken and that with. All right. So I did get me a tiny little bouquet off them little sh oh, honey. This a little. They 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 bloomed out of season because it was unseasonably warm, and then with the cool snap, they they trying to go to seed real fast. So I will go gather those seeds because they're outside the bed. 
All right, I'm going to have some more coffee. I still got time. Hell, who knows? Maybe I'll do a live. I don't know. I ain't done one but one time, and it was kind of disastrous. So, I don't know. <laughs> we shall see, y'all. We shall see. But, you know, my knee don't look that bad to me until I look at my other knee. And I'm like, okay. Oh, okay. It's here. It just poofs up here. It's aggravating. I got so much to do. I should show y'all that back bed and get y'all sympathy. Y'all would understand. <laughs> Please don't rain on me while I'm out here. Not that it'll be the first or the last time I get rained on. I stay wet a good part of the summer, y'all. I'm in and out of the rain when it ain't lightning. I come out here because when the ground is wet, it's very amicable for weeding. Also, if you're putting seeds in, let Mother Nature water them in. So it's a good time to transplant. I mean, look what they've done to my yard. I'm, I'm telling y'all, my yard did not look like this. Now, granted, that's my husband's doing. That's got to go to the dump. This used to be a garden. This area here was black eyed peas, and then it was a winter garden in the winter. Look at it now. I put this down here because there's such fine, fine pieces. Do y'all see that sparkling? That's all aluminum. It got in my dog's foot. There's pieces of concrete. Just a mess. It just, just a mess. That's all the concrete and stuff. So, plus there ain't been no rains. So it looks like a fire has been in my yard. Ooh, I got a pooper scoop. Let me get my camera up. Good Lord, I need to get the flat point shovel and get out here. So, this is what I got to deal with. It looks worse than it is. Because that's a Miss Molly. Those are two bidets. That stays. They ain't that many weeds. What's in here is a little bit of grass and they shepherd's daisies. But once these take off again, it chokes out weeds. It ain't nothing else going to be coming up. Look, something's been digging here too. Yeah, looks like a possum. I know something comes tromping through here. This is my worst part to do. I'll probably just take the metal rake, rake this out. Now these are actually plants. I don't even know what they are. Hey, sweet bee. This is something has died. I don't know. I don't remember what these are, but I planted them, and one time, one bloom. They're green. They're healthy looking. I don't know what they are. Look at all this dollar weed. It ain't wet enough for dollar weed. How in the world are you growing? How in the world do I have dollar weed in here? See, I, I get out here, and I'll start picking before you know it. Well, what is this? That's one of them that has just said, I'm done with life. Well, you're staying. So this is mostly just grass. I reckon I'll leave them and plant around them. I thought about just sticking my pole beans here and trellising them. Of course, it's going to invade on the neighbor's yard. But I lost, I lost all my growing space. A raised bed costs so much to fill with dirt. And it used to not be a problem because I used to have that big bird of paradise. I had a worm bed. This was five foot that away. Oops. This was five foot that away. Oh, that's gone. So that rich soil is just, the worms are gone. Everything's gone. So, because you can take perlite, some of your regular soil, take some contractor sand, uh, some coconut core. Just mix all that up. Make your own. Make your own planting mix. Oh, and some black cow, some kind of cow shit. If you got a local farm, they'll they'd compost it. But I don't have a truck with an open bed no more. So I used to have them haul it and dump it over here, dump it out here. But with my body's not cooperating, I even cut back my grapes. Now, granted, they'll come back on their own without my interference. But I should cut these grapes down to the damn near to the ground. These are muscadines. Oh, they go to the hole. They, they're all, they get all in these trees. So, there's just so much I ain't done. My fire got wet. So, I ain't even got any good wood ash right now. I've got some biochar left from last year, but I don't have a whole lot of amendments. I don't have a compost pile no more. I used to keep my compost pile around the corner there. Back there in this corner, back there. Well, when they did the fence, I had to move it. So I went ahead and just spread it, you know. 
Yes, it's, a, it's just a mess, y'all. It's just a mess. I, I don't know where to begin. They moved the dirt they dug up to do this photo. They piled up over here. And it took them so long that before they even, they didn't come back and spread it out. And their damn machine was parked here for a month. I kid you not. I couldn't get in there and spread it. So what happened is now the Bleeding Hearts and the Shepherd's Daisies have moved in. And when I go in here to get these, I'm going to be covered head to toe with seeds. Look at these. These Shepherd Daisy seeds. They are sticky. They stick to you. So that's why I'm like, I need to get the weed eater and just weed eat this down. Yes, there's going to be seeds all over the yard, but it's fine. As long as I mow them over and they don't get, you know, they, they look at it. That bleeding heart's way out here. And it's deep. These roots, this thing's been here for 20-something years, so it spreads. It's way over yonder. Damn, I have really got to get a flat point shovel out here. There's dog shit everywhere. Is this a pumpkin vine? Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. There's some things you just can't ignore. You look like a jasmine. All right, we're getting you, pumpkin vine. Yeah, we we can't we can't have you. No. I do, but oh my goodness, guess what that is? That's my tangerine tree coming back. Let me see. Let me get me a leaf. It sure is. I taste it. <laughs> so if you used to say, "Mama, you gonna poison yourself," <laughs> tasting shit. In the yard, I'm like, no, I ain't. I only taste stuff. I have a general idea of what it is already. See, they got their concrete shit and mess all the way out here. I'm telling y'all, they destroyed my yard. I need to take my husband's attitude of just, oh, don't worry about it. To have all this sodded and just lounge in the pool. Well, I happen to enjoy gardening. So, shit. Speaking of shit, I better check my feet. Good Lord. Bees, I'm sorry. There are no blooms on this pumpkin vine. There's no reason for you to have any interest in it. I just felt this rain drop on me. That's the sun. All right, pumpkin vine. See, in the good old days, and I still have a habit of throwing stuff over here because back here in that corner was my compost bed. So I still have a habit of throwing stuff over here. It gradually makes it way to that corner back there. This dirt's awful. Ain't nothing growing here but weeds now. I had sweet potatoes in here. I had a hugel culture bed. That's what it was. I was like, well, what was after the trumpet? This was hugel culture bed. So there's still wood buried down in here. So this was a Florida hugel culture bed, meaning I didn't dig a hole and bury it. I piled it on top and put soil on top of it. I had sweet potatoes growing in there. Oh, I just feel hopeless when I come in here and look at this. I mean, granted, I've got my jasmine I can put here. Cherry, to, I don't know why, but fall tomatoes love it over here, so they can go there. I think I might just throw me some watermelon down here and just throw up some of that netting shit and just let it go. It's watermelon. Just put some bone meal and blood meal on it and a little bit of cow shit. It, it should do fine. Lord knows it gets enough rain come summer. And then I guess watch the critters just stick a pair of pantyhose over them and hang them up on the fence. All right, well, I may get my button gear. All right, y'all. Bye.